The initial release of Android 13 Beta was made official this week, and you can install it on supported Google Pixel smartphones right now. I know some of you have been testing the previous beta recently, and in today's video, I want to show you how to upgrade from the Android 12L beta program to the Android 13 beta without losing any of your personal data. Switching between betas isn't the most common thing that people do, but that's because with previous beta releases, you ended up losing all of your data if you had to switch away from the beta you are currently participating in. But as long as you're going from the Android 12L beta to the Android 13 beta program, then it should work as long as you're following the steps I outline in this video. I have the Google Pixel 4a right here, and that is currently on the Android 12L beta. And I'm gonna be showing you how to transition from this beta to the Android 13 beta without losing any of your personal data. So, so to begin, we're gonna to go to the website google.com slash android slash beta and i'll be linking to this in the video description below for anyone who just wants a direct link to this website and when we get here you're going to need to log into your account if you haven't done so already and scroll down to our list of eligible devices so you can see we are on the android 12 beta program and we are just going to opt out right here We're going to get this prompt and then we're going to click the leave beta button. And then we're just going to click OK here. Now we see that the phone is not enrolled and we're not touching the phone yet. We're going to opt in now. And here we get to choose which beta we want to participate in. So before we were in this one. And now we're going to switch over to the Android 13 beta. So we're going to click that, choose the review terms. We're going to agree. And we're going to opt in. Now we are told that this device, our Google Pixel 4a, is now enrolled. And it is now part of the Android 13 beta program. Now we should look for a system update like you normally would for downloading and installing an over-the-air update. You can see I have a lot of stuff installed, downloaded, and set up on this phone. So after we go in and install the Android 13 beta, all of this stuff should be here since we are not going to be losing any of our data from this transition. So let's go ahead and open up the settings application, scroll down and then tap the system option. And then let's go and check for a system update. Now, if you are told you are currently up to date, you may want to go ahead and tap the check for update button again. If you are still told that an update is not available, then it's likely just going to take a little bit longer maybe wait another 5, 10, or 15 minutes before you try again. But now that we see we are going to, we have an update available for the beta version of Android 13, we're going to tap the download and install. And we're going to let the phone not only download the update, not only install the update, but also go through the optimizing apps process to get this beta up and running on the device. And for anyone who is following along with me in this video, you can see we are just about finishing up with the downloading and installing update progress bar. 
the amount of time this takes will depend mainly on your internet speed, but also the device you are installing it on. These different devices have different qualities of storage, so the speed in which these things can be installed will be a little bit different from one Google Pixel phone to another. But once we get through the downloading and installing part, you can see, like normal, it's going to switch over to the optimizing your device. And this will take a little bit longer to complete. So again, I know this update process can take a lot of time. I've been here for about 20, 25 minutes and we are still on the optimizing part. But again, just be patient, wait for the process to complete. And as long as we're not getting any errors, then we should be able to update properly without losing any of our data. So my Google Pixel 4a has now finished with the update to the Android 13 beta 1 coming from the Android 12 L beta. And we're just going to tap that blue reboot button when it appears. You can see it's going to finish installing that system update, run a couple of last minute changes, and then go through the normal boot animation sequence. And just like with installing any other over-the-air update, the phone is going to need to run some additional commands to complete that and finalize that update as the phone is booting back up. You can see we are still in the Android beta program. And this is a beta, so we are going to see some lags and bugs here and there. We're going to let Android finish up that system update. And now we can go in and see we are now on Android 13, the public beta 1 for the Google Pixel 4a. So you can see that we moved from the Android 12L beta to 13 beta. We have retained all of the data, all of our installed apps, our pictures, videos. And while that is the, going to be the case for most of us, it is definitely still a beta. So there are people who are going through this process and have come to find out that they were not able to retain their user data even after that update to the Android 13 beta. But here you can see the process actually works. It should work for most people, but Android is a very complex system. There's no telling what type of changes or differences that were on that phone or other people's phones who are coming across this type of issue. And again, this whole process was done here in video for the Google Pixel 4a. 
but the Android 13 beta program currently supports the Pixel 4, the Pixel 4 XL, the Pixel 4a 5G, the Pixel 5, the Pixel 5a, the Pixel 6, and the Pixel 6 Pro. So if you have any of those devices and are currently on the Android 12L beta program and want to opt into the Android 13 beta program, you can follow this video to retain all of your user data and switch over to the newer beta. Not only that, but the Android beta program also allows any of these devices to go from the stable version to the Android 13 beta. And you can do that the exact same way that I did in this video. The only difference being you won't need to opt out of a previous beta first. You will just opt into the Android 13 beta program. So let me know what you think of Android 13. I'm gonna be going through the new features of the update over the next week or two but there's already a lot of coverage on this update and its new features so use the comment section below to let me know your favorite new addition